So it's been a while since we've taken a look at a cryptid, so I figured why don't we take a look at one now. And one of the newest ones that is out is the lighthouse. Now you might be thinking to yourself, uh, a lighthouse? <laughs> a living lighthouse with tendrils and tentacles and legs and nasty other things. And yeah, this is a thing. I don't know why someone made it, but we're gonna take a look at it today. Going over some of his attacks, you'll see he can shoot rays of death out of his head or eyeball piece. He can also just shoot singular blasts and he can even launch his eyeball out of the socket or the top of the lighthouse tower. And when you get too close, well, he jumps on you. Also, I'm playing as Neo. If you want to know why, check out the last video I did. I'll put it in the top right corner. So now that we've seen a lot of his attacks, let's go ahead and do some of our own attacks. And when we do, you'll notice something unique. Wait, he has 70,000 health, and we did almost a quarter of his health with just the Half-Life SMG? Something seems a little bit off here. I also notice he's not terribly overpowered with his attacks. He doesn't really kill us in one hit. In fact, it takes quite a lot of hits to really even hurt us. Although, if he does jump on you, you do die in one hit, so be careful of that. Alright, let's go ahead and fight back a little bit more. We're gonna switch to the AR here, just to get some more damage in. And, even though his death ray attack is pretty strong... Oh yeah, also, that shoots out fireballs, I forgot to mention that. I mean, just me talking here, shooting him... Look at his health! He's already almost dead! And again, this is a Half-Life weapon. 70,000 health! So this tells me that he has a much lower defense value than pretty much every other NPC. And I think the King of Lizards did this on purpose so that he would be fun to fight, because a lot of these overpowered NPCs are not very fun to fight, I have to say. So I think it's pretty cool to see a change. And I mean, it's still a pretty difficult boss fight, like... To kill him without him killing you, it's gonna take some Matrix level dodging. Now during day this looks pretty neat, but I think it can look even better if it's at night. So let's go ahead and go to a night map and see just how much better this can look. Alright, here we are in night flat grass, and we can see it's a beautiful night out. And also, it kinda works. I mean, he's bright, he doesn't really light up the area, except for when he douses it in heat ray, but still it looks really good, in fact I think I prefer this at night than during the day. Alright, so now that we've seen all of his attacks, we've seen what he is capable of, what if we cranked it up to 11? And by that of course I mean the lighthouse monster enraged. You'll notice his health value is still the same, but something's changed. Oh yeah! He doesn't stop attacking! Death ray after death ray, fireball after fireball, he'll douse the entire area in death. And if we're not careful, we're going to be joining that death soon. We can also see he does that shooting eyeball thing a lot more often as well. But yeah, like, dead ass doesn't stop, just shoots all the time. It's a lot harder now to take him out. Even with his lower defense value, which I'm pretty sure is still intact, we're not going to be intact very long because of how often he shoots his death ray. Alright, so now that we've seen what he could do to us, let's see what he does to another cryptid. Well, actually, I don't know if Troll counts as cryptid. Whatever, another JJK character. Let's see what he can do in a fight. And right there, we could see that size is not everything. Because, well, the troll snake was able to actually come out on top, even though he had way less health, and he was quite a bit smaller. Alright, so what about admin guns? I mean, this is pretty obvious how this is going to go, considering how weak his defenses are. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought would happen. Alright, so what if we became the lighthouse? And you know what's funny? <laughs> I am not even clicking left click right now. In fact, I'm not clicking anything. I'm just always shooting Death Ray. And this is the enraged version, so now we know how this works. The poor NPC doesn't even have control over his own attacks in this version. But what about the regular version? And yeah, he doesn't really attack unless you want him to. Left click is the slam. Right click is the death beam of death. 
R is the fireball head thingy, which is probably good for bigger NPCs. And then we have an interesting mode. This is something I didn't even see the NPC do. If you press F, he goes down into the ground and kind of becomes like a stationary turret that shoots constant death rays everywhere. Kind of interesting. I don't know why the NPC never did this move. All right, so now that we can see what he can do to one NPC, let's see what he can do to many. We have a bunch of combine units here. Let's see if all of them can take down the giant lighthouse monster. All right, and we could see that, wow, the Combine got eviscerated. I mean, they didn't even do all that much damage. And there we go, and now it finally does the stationary attack. Also, I didn't even notice this, but the Lighthouse Monster does regen health. And, I mean, the results speak for themselves. <laughs> the giant AoE attacks that the Lighthouse Monster has was just way too much for the Combine units. For the ones that were able to move around, they did extend their life a little bit. But the ones that didn't move, well, they got a death laser to the face, and it didn't turn out so well. And that was the lighthouse monster. Let me know what you guys think down below. Is this a cryptid that you're interested in? Do you think this thing is kind of silly or stupid? Or do you think it's a really cool and unique idea? And let me know what you think about the attacks as well. Also, leave a like and subscribe if you did like this video. And leave suggestions down below in the comment section down below. All the mods that are used in this video will be in the description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, farewell.